some basic tools in Illustrator um, that I'm going to talk about are these here. And the first one is the selection tool, which is right here. And this is one that you're going to use quite a bit for moving things around. Um, basically, it takes a click, like you see in the preview, and move something. The direct selection tool allows you to grab certain points and adjust those. <clears throat> Pardon me. So what I'm going to do is we're going to jump into the shapes uh, next. And then we're going to use those three tools. So the shapes you just draw out. Okay. If I click and hold on this icon, you'll see there's a handful of things here to look at. Um, square, you know, or rectangular tool, rounded rectangular tool, ellipse, which think of ellipse as a circle or oval, uh, polygon and star, the flare tool. Um, I'm not going to cover at this point. So with the rectangle, once I have this selected, I can click and just drag out. And up here, this is a color picker. There's some defaults already in here. And you can see, you just kind of move things around, line them up. And, you know, if you just want to play around quickly, kind of get an idea of how these things work. If you see here, all these little blue lines show up. And these are smart guides. And what they do is help you understand um, if you're lined up. Okay, quick little pattern. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the um, selection tool. Select this. Now, if you see inside here, there's these little circles in each corner. Now, um, to, to show you the best way, I'm going to go into a, a mode called preview. And basically, each corner, you can see it says anchor. This is a path. Path meaning that's the line. Okay. And I click here. You can see each one of these in the corner represents an anchor. And an anchor is what it is as far as um, you know, setting something in place. Um, which allows for these corners. All right, I'm going to go back out. So if I select this one, and I'm going to come up these little circles, you can see that the mouse changes. There's a little uh, a quarter circle there. If I click and drag inward, it allows me to round these corners out. Okay. If I click on this again, you can totally play and just see that there's some measurements there. It tells you it's a 0.1 inch. So here's what I'm going to do. This time around, I'm going to use a direct selection tool. And I can click on a specific point, and it, this is the only one that's going to change. And because of that, I can only curve one section. So if I drag across like this, I've selected the top two. Pull down. I've curved those. Okay. Pretty simple. So then... Now that we've looked at a, just one tool, the rectangular tool of the shapes, I'm going to go ahead and use the ellipse, and you can just draw out circles, ovals, and so forth. One of the things that's nice is if you click, hold down the shift key, and drag, you'll get a perfect circle. Same thing with a rectangle. Click, or I'm sorry, hold shift, click and drag. You get a perfect square. Okay, so we got some shapes here. We're going to come back to those. The rounded tool is just that. Basically, 
anything that you can do with this tool, you can do with this one. Okay, so the rectangular tool and the rounded tool are going to work about the same. So I don't even use that one as much. Um, really focus on these two. And then the polygon tool and click and drag. Give myself a little more space here. And you can see it just moves. If I hold down the shift key, it'll even things out. Okay, so here's a nice thing. If I am drawing, dragging this out, and if I hit the arrow key down, it eliminates how many sides. If I go up, it creates more. Okay, so that's nice. But here's another thing that you can do instead. So if you know you want eight sides, let's say, if I click once on the screen with this tool selected, I can choose right here, eight sides, and I can make a stop sign. How about that? Same thing with the star tool. If I just click once, it's going to default here at five. I'm going to get a star. And I think what's interesting about this is the star, um, like the polygon, you can hit the arrow keys, also make a triangle, uh, and this will go into more depth later, is a triangle actually has, uh, from the star tool, one, two, three, four, five, six anchor points. So that means there's more uh, customization here, whereas the polygon, when you take it down to three, only has three points. So something to consider um, depending on what you're working on. Okay, so now I want to look at the Pathfinder, and I'm just going to go into my preview mode. So remember, the path is the line that goes around. And the Pathfinder is where we can take some shapes, you can combine them, subtract from them, and so forth. What I was going to do um, is kind of show you. Is I'm using this eyedropper tool here to select this color, just for fun. Is how to combine or uh, subtract things. So. Right here, um, I have these two shapes overlapping. If I select them both, which is with the move tool, click and drag over. These are all of our alignment tools. I want to make sure that they're aligned um, from the center, vertical center. I'm going to click this one. Nothing moves, so it looks good. Again, when I select it, I can see the path from the circle below which is going to be important down here in this toolbar, the pathfinder, let's see, uh, it's three squares total, one tiny one in the middle, and basically it's showing two squares uh, intersecting. If you don't see that, you might be in um, essentials for your workspace and there's far less stuff. So I'm going to go back. Go to Workspace, Essentials Classic, there it is. And when I click on this here, all sorts of options. We're just going to look at the shape modes for the moment. So this first one, if I click, it's going to unite, just like it says. It is now one piece. This one here is called Minus Front. So whatever's in the front is going to subtract from the back. So uh, if I wanted to make like a crescent moon, there it is. Uh, these here doesn't intersect. So basically it eliminates these outside pieces and focuses on this shape in the middle. And then the exclude basically is going to do the opposite and knock out that center piece. Okay, so those are those tools. Um, and then the uh, last one I'm going to show 
is the shape builder and for, to uh, demonstrate how I would use it is let's say I want to make some clouds and I'm holding down the option key and dragging it could be uh, alt on a PC and let's just say those are my clouds okay not bad for what it is slide this one up a little more I get them where I want them now again if I select them all you can see all these shapes inside um, I could use this unite tool and it makes them all one one shape but the shape builder tool is this one right here and basically what it does is when everything's selected you draw into it or you click and hold kind of like draws a line through here and it'll select everything so you see there's a little plus sign to the bottom right of the arrow that means we're going to add these together so i'm clicking and holding and it does that if i wanted to take some pieces out this is the difference here is a hold down option on a mac uh, alt on a pc you can see that turns to a minus and it'll take out that piece and i can subtract and take that one out then i can just go through and add all those together or if I wanted to add that one back in, I can. So it's a, it's a different tool. Um, it's used for really more customizable um, shapes and things you might be working with. Um, it is nice, but those tools there are a, a good place to start. Um, let's see, in the next video um, that I make, um, probably focus a little bit more on using the pen tool um and the line segment